Welcome to Brainwaves. In today's segment, we will explore the fascinating history of horror fiction. From chilling tales that send shivers down our spines to stories that evoke a sense of dread, horror fiction has captivated readers for centuries. Join us as we delve into the origins of this genre and discover how it has evolved over time. The Castle of Otranto, written by Horace Walpole and published in 1764, is considered the first Gothic novel. Walpole drew inspiration from medieval tales and architecture, setting his story in a sinister castle filled with supernatural occurrences. The novel's origins can be traced back to Walpole's own fascination with medieval history and his desire to create a unique and thrilling narrative. Its publication marked the beginning of a new genre that would ultimately evolve into the horror fiction we know today. The Castle of Otranto explores several key themes and incorporates various elements that have become characteristic of horror fiction. One prominent theme is the supernatural, with the presence of ghosts and otherworldly phenomena adding an eerie and suspenseful atmosphere to the story. The novel also delves into elements of suspense and mystery, keeping readers on the edge of their seats as they uncover dark family secrets and hidden identities. Additionally, the novel utilizes Gothic architecture and settings to create a foreboding and claustrophobic ambiance, heightening the sense of dread and terror experienced by the characters and readers alike. The Castle of Otranto holds significant importance in the history of horror fiction, as it paved the way for the Gothic genre. Its blend of supernatural elements, suspenseful storytelling, and Gothic atmosphere captivated readers and inspired numerous authors to explore similar themes in their works. The novel's success led to a wave of Gothic literature in the 18th and 19th centuries, influencing renowned authors like Edgar Allan Poe and Mary Shelley. Even today, The Castle of Otranto remains a classic and continues to be celebrated for its contributions to the horror genre. Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein, was a remarkable figure in the literary world. Born in 1797, Shelley was the daughter of philosopher William Godwin and feminist writer Mary Wollstonecraft. She wrote Frankenstein at the young age of 18, and the novel was published anonymously in 1818. Inspired by a dream and influenced by the scientific advancements of the time, Shelley crafted a tale that would become one of the most famous and enduring works in horror fiction. The story of Frankenstein and its creation by a young woman during the Romantic era adds an intriguing layer to its legacy. One of the remarkable aspects of Frankenstein is the exploration of profound themes and moral questions. The novel delves into the nature of humanity and the consequences of playing God. Victor Frankenstein's ambition to create life leads to the birth of the creature, who grapples with his own existence and struggles to find acceptance in society. Shelley raises thought-provoking questions about responsibility, the boundaries of scientific progress, and the ethical implications of unchecked pursuit of knowledge. These themes continue to resonate with readers, prompting us to reflect on our own relationship with science and the ethical dilemmas it can present. The impact and cultural significance of Frankenstein cannot be overstated. Upon its publication, the novel captivated readers and sparked intense debates about the ethics of scientific experimentation and the consequences of our actions. It has since become a seminal work of horror fiction, inspiring countless adaptations, films, and other forms of media. The iconic imagery of the creature, with his green skin and bolts in his neck, has permeated popular culture, becoming a symbol of misunderstood monsters. Frankenstein continues to be studied in academic settings and remains a powerful exploration of human nature, societal rejection, and the dangers of unchecked ambition. To understand the origins of Dracula, we must explore the life and influences of Bram Stoker. Born in 1847 in Ireland, Stoker was a theatre manager and a passionate writer. His career in the theatre world allowed him to meet and be influenced by many notable personalities, including Henry Irving, a renowned actor who would later inspire the character of Count Dracula. Stoker's interest in folklore, mythology, and vampire legends, combined with his own experiences and literary inspirations, culminated in the creation of one of the most iconic and enduring characters in horror fiction. In Dracula, Bram Stoker crafted a chilling tale of horror and suspense. The novel follows the story of Count Dracula, a centuries-old vampire from Transylvania, as he relocates to England in search of new victims. 
The plot primarily revolves around the efforts of a group of individuals, including Professor Abraham Van Helsing and Jonathan Harker, to thwart Dracula's plans and save humanity from his nocturnal reign of terror. Stoker's mastery in character development can be seen through the complex personalities of the protagonists and the enigmatic allure surrounding the character of Count Dracula himself. The intense battle between good and evil, the exploration of human desires and fears, and the gripping narrative make Dracula a masterpiece of horror fiction. The cultural impact and legacy of Dracula are undeniable. Since its publication in 1897, the novel has left an indelible mark on both literature and popular culture. Dracula popularized vampire folklore and established many of the characteristics and tropes associated with vampires, including their aversion to sunlight, the need for blood, and the power to transform into bats. The enduring fascination with vampires and the undead can be directly traced back to the iconic portrayal of Count Dracula. The novel has inspired countless adaptations in various forms of media, from stage plays and films to television series and graphic novels. Bram Stoker's Dracula continues to be celebrated as a seminal piece of horror fiction and remains a cornerstone of the genre. To fully appreciate the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, it is important to delve into the life and influences of Robert Louis Stevenson. Born in 1850, Stevenson was a Scottish novelist who had a fascination with mystery and the human psyche. His childhood experiences, including his battles with illness and the strict religious upbringing of his family, played a significant role in shaping his perspective on morality and the duality of human nature. Additionally, Stevenson's interest in the works of Gothic fiction and the emerging field of psychology contributed to the creation of the iconic characters of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. At the heart of The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde lies the exploration of the duality of human nature. The novel delves into the idea that within each individual, there exists both good and evil tendencies. Dr. Jekyll, a respected and morally upright man, becomes consumed by the desire to separate these opposing sides of his nature. Through his experiments, he creates Mr. Hyde, a sinister and amoral alter ego. Stevenson masterfully depicts the psychological struggle between Jekyll's desire for societal acceptance and his dark impulses embodied by Hyde. This exploration of the dual nature of humanity raises profound questions about the nature of identity, the consequences of repressing one's true self, and the fine line between order and chaos. The psychological and moral implications explored in The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde are profound. The novel delves into the darker recesses of the human mind, highlighting the potential for evil that exists within even the most seemingly virtuous individuals. Stevenson contemplates the consequences of suppressing one's inner desires and the dangers of indulging in them without restraint. The story raises questions about the boundaries of morality, the struggle for self-control, and the responsibility individuals have for their actions. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde serves as a cautionary tale reminding us of the delicate balance between our contrasting impulses and the importance of understanding and accepting the shadowy aspects of our own nature. To understand the significance of H.P. Lovecraft's works, it is important to delve into his life and influences. Lovecraft, born in 1890, was an American writer known for his contributions to the horror genre. He experienced a difficult childhood, marked by tragedy and a sense of isolation, which heavily influenced his writing style. Lovecraft's fascination with science, particularly astronomy and cosmology, led to the creation of his unique blend of cosmic horror. He was greatly influenced by the works of Edgar Allan Poe and the philosophical ideas of Arthur Mackin and Lord Dunsany. Lovecraft's own life experiences, combined with his love for the weird and the unknown, shaped his iconic storytelling and laid the foundation for his enduring legacy in the world of horror fiction. H.P. Lovecraft's works are characterized by several key themes and elements that have made them influential in the horror genre. One of the prominent themes in Lovecraft's stories is cosmic horror, the idea that human beings are insignificant in the grand scope of the universe. Lovecraft often depicts ancient and powerful cosmic entities that surpass human understanding, driving characters to the brink of madness. Another prevalent theme is the exploration of forbidden knowledge and the dangers that come with seeking forbidden truths. 
Lovecraft's protagonists often uncover ancient texts or secrets that reveal hidden horrors or threaten to unravel their sanity. Lovecraft also delves into themes of inherited guilt and the concept of degeneration, highlighting the fragility of the human mind and the horrors that lie within our own lineage. All these elements combined create a unique and unsettling atmosphere that has made Lovecraft's work stand the test of time. The legacy and influence of H.P. Lovecraft in the realm of horror fiction cannot be overstated. Despite struggling for recognition during his lifetime, Lovecraft's works gained significant recognition and acclaim after his death in 1937. His unique and distinct style, characterized by rich atmospheric descriptions and dense prose, has influenced countless writers in the horror genre. Lovecraft's creation of the Cthulhu Mythos, a shared universe involving ancient cosmic entities and forbidden knowledge, has inspired numerous authors to expand upon his ideas and contribute to this expansive mythos. Lovecraft's influence can be seen in the works of many renowned authors, including Stephen King, Neil Gaiman, and Clive Barker. Lovecraft's legacy extends beyond literature, with his creations inspiring films, video games, and even music. Lovecraft's impact on the horror genre is far-reaching, cementing him as one of the most influential and enduring figures in the history of horror fiction. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the history of horror fiction. We have explored the emergence of the genre in Gothic literature with works like The Castle of Otranto, and witnessed its evolution through iconic novels such as Frankenstein and Dracula. We also examined the psychological depth of horror in classics like The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Finally, we explored the cosmic terror and supernatural horrors introduced by H.P. Lovecraft. Throughout history, horror fiction has provided a platform for exploring our deepest fears, pushing the boundaries of our imagination, and reflecting the anxieties of our society. These spine-chilling tales continue to captivate readers and inspire new generations of horror authors. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the macabre and invite you to explore the wide array of horror fiction available today. Keep reading and let your imagination run wild.